well, get them. It's opening day of bow season. Yep. You ready to uh, crush a buck or a doe? Yep. Yep, so am I. We just had uh, his football game, came back to the house to grab all the stuff, and now we're headed out to my parents' house. But I got a buddy, he shot a buck this morning with his recurve. So I'm waiting on a text from him to see if he got it or not, or if we need to come out to help him first before going to my parents. But yeah, excited. Excited? Mm -hmm. You don't look excited. Well, I just got out of a game and I'm tired. Okay. Fair enough. Maybe you can take a nap in the blind. Huh? Ah, uh, I think uh, this, I think this, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're not a napping type anyway. But that's cool. I'm already seeing some deer in the fields and they are they're starting to take down beans by me, which is exciting. We got this field almost done. Well, we finally made it out. It's about 5.30. Uh, from what the trail camera shows, anywhere from six to seven is when they start coming out here into this little food plot. I'm savoring a buck. He doesn't know if he wants to shoot a buck uh, tonight or if he wants to shoot a doe tonight and save his buck tag for up north. Cause like if I don't get a buck, I mean if I do choose to shoot a buck, no more buck, like, done. So then I'd only be able to hunt doe up north. Which is fine, it's fine. Either way, we're getting meat in the freezer. That's one of those choices that you have to make as a hunter because you're only allowed so many buck tags, especially as a mentored youth. So, yeah, you have to make the decision on what size deer you want to shoot. You can't shoot everything, so you're going to have to let something walk. Yeah, if a, it's like definitely if a nine point or a ten point comes out, pow pow. Pow pow. But what if that six point comes out? I mean, it's like a... It's a little basket six? Yeah. Would you shoot it? Maybe. It depends. That's, that's probably a good decision you need to make beforehand. It's either yes, I'll shoot that six point, or no, I'll let him walk and shoot a doe instead. Like, if you make that decision, you think about it. You don't have to make it now. Just give it some thought. Go through the whole process in your head of... Imagine as we're speaking about that, the, the six one is like, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> so, we're overlooking the, it's a nice food plot that we got in here, my dad planted. Hopefully these cold mornings that we've had sweetened them up some, get some frost. So, we're shooting the old Excalibur. Tried and true, durable as heck crossbow, best crossbows made. I mean, what other crossbow can you change the strings in the stand if they start getting frayed? You want to put on a new one? Do it right in the stand. But we're going to sit quietly now, wait, see what comes through. Got anything else you want to say? 
like from my view, it looks like those bows that like the Indians use, like, cause like how far the... Yeah, it looks the, like a recurve, ain't it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> the guy that is bright, isn't it? Uh, unfortunately, nothing came through. So, we gotta figure out what we wanna do from here. Uh, we're gonna pack up and get out of here. But, that's hunting for you. Can't get them every time. Next time, we'll slay them. Alright. Let's go. Well, well, well. Oh, you got my sunglasses on. I think they look better on you than they do me. Yeah. Yeah! You agreed? You are such a knucklehead. But, day two, October 2nd, of this archery season. Yesterday, last night, didn't get it done. Don't know why, but... But anyway, we're going out there to the Brown City Farm. I'm going to stop over at my parents' house and pick up the crossbow and scoot our way out there. I also brought the laptop that, uh, so when we get out there, we can pull the, the, the trail camera cards and see what's out there, see what's been coming through. How you feeling today? You get a good, good feeling? You don't sound very confident. Wait bye to grandma. Bye. Whoop. I saw it. <laughs> what was it? Uh their well head. <laughs> I started making a turn a little bit too tight because I was looking at uh Bo in the mirror. But we got the crossbow. Bye, Bo! Bye, Bo! Got the crossbow. Now we're headed out there, so. I guess the neighbors here, they shot one this morning. Farmer John's, here we come. Farmer John's, here we come. What'd you say? I have a strong feeling about this. Now he has a strong feeling. Good, good, good. We made it out here. Uh, he did cut the alfalfa. Which is good. This whole field's down. And the way the wind is blowing. I think we are going to hunt the south field. Since I'm out here and I have it, the trail camera cards out. So I got one. Make this quick. Just run in there, grab it, leave. I brought the laptop with me.
Well, I got the cards with me. But there was uh, there's a couple doe over there inside the woods. If they don't come this way out the woods, that they're gonna sneak around, loop back around through there and uh, come out in front. I think it's gonna happen. Yeah. But unfortunately, last night, you picked the wrong bolt. So pick the right bolt again. Which one? Make it count. Oh boy, it's so hard. What are you doing? Oh, which one? Which one? That one. Get, be careful, it's got a broad head on it, super sharp. Oh yeah. Two. I hope there's some like good stuff in here. We checked the trail camera and there's some okay bucks on there. One decent one. I can't tell the age though. It's camera quality, but there are a few good does walking around. Lots of young ones though. So we're gonna sit tight for a little bit. We got a long sit longer. I got another three hours before we're done. Sure, hope something comes through. I got a good feeling about today. He might take a little nap right now though, but it's gonna happen. I can feel it. Oh yeah, he's going to start combining more rows of corn. You better 